while Republicans have some big wins on election night, both in the House and in the governor's races. Some states did not fare as well for the GOP. In the battleground state of Pennsylvania, for example, both Trump-endorsed candidates, Doug Mastriano and Dr. Mehmet Oz, lost their races. Here to share his perspectives on the midterm results, former Pennsylvania senator and Newsmax contributor, there he is, Rick Santorum. You know, Rick, great to see you. I can't wait to get your take on what happened here. What do you make of the fact um, that in your state, both the governor and the Senate races, both of them lost. Um, and your thoughts about, you know, John Fetterman winning after, you know, the debate that he had. What did you make of that? Well, uh, it's really interesting. I, I, I think it, part of it is uh, candidate quality. And you say, well, wait a minute. Uh, certainly, Mehmet Oz was a much better candidate than John Fetterman. That's true. But what I what I've noticed, and and I, I've sort of known this. I think we've known this for a long time that that the Democrats are much more of a of a team kind of group. They they don't really you know they'll as as uh, one of the pundits said, uh, they'd vote for a ham sandwich as long as they have a D next to their name. And uh, in fact, we had a, a state representative in Pennsylvania that got elected who was dead. Uh, we had uh, we have someone who's uh, you know obviously mental, uh, mentally and physically compromised who got elected. They don't care. Democrats don't really care about who they, you know, look at Joe Biden. They, they voted for Joe Biden. Didn't matter. So their base will come out and vote for whoever is on the ticket. Republicans, unfortunately, uh, are not so. In Pennsylvania, Democrats, listen to this, in a midterm uh, Biden election, the Democrats had a higher percentage turnout than Republicans. That tells you that Republicans are, will, will come out and support candidates if they're good candidates and they like them. But they won't. And I say they. I mean, obviously, both bases, I mean, the hardcore folks turn out. It's sort of your moderate Democrat and moderate Republican. The, the moderate Democrat votes for the team. The Rep moderate Republican stays home if they don't like the candidate. That's what we saw in Pennsylvania. I think we saw this in other states, too, where the candidate quality was not such. And I have people say, well, but Oz was so much better candidate than Federer. It doesn't matter. It's, it's whether your candidate is a good candidate or not. And, and I think we had Mastriano, who turned off a lot of people. Uh, Oz, who, you know, I thought he was a decent candidate, but he, he, the, the Republicans in the primary and then Fetterman early on in the general election just crushed him uh, and, and, and the, in their advertising. And he never got above 40 percent favorable throughout the entire election. It's really hard to win an election when your favorability rating is below 40 percent. Yeah, it certainly, certainly is. Um, and there's so many factors. And a lot of people are, of course, talking about also the fact, even uh, on the liberal side, some of them have even been suggesting Fetterman for president, uh, which is shaking, I think. There you go. <laughs> shaking a lot of people's heads, he's, right, Rick? <laughs> yeah, he'd, he'd be a great follow-up to Joe Biden. I mean, it would be perfect. I mean, they put two mentally challenged people in the, in the presidency back to back. Now, this this, but this just goes to show you they don't care about the quality of the person and, and their, uh, whether it's their character or whether it's their competence. They just want to see how they vote. If they're voting the right way, that's what they're for. And uh, it's really a sad situation, but it, it's something we have to understand as Republicans. We cannot put up candidates who are candidates that turn off uh, you know, a large segment of, of, of the voter. And Democrats can do it. We can't. Rick Santorum, thank you very much for your perspective. We appreciate it. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.